If you've ever written a bash script before, you know exactly how hard it can be to do. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can skip all of that and use AI to do it all for you. All right, this is gonna be super fun because I'm gonna get to talk about one of my very favorite tools as a developer. So that tool is Fig.io, and I've done a video on this in the past about how it gives my terminal superpowers and it gives me IntelliSense for commands that I can run or scripts that I can run inside of a project. It gives me IntelliSense for CLIs, for packages that I wanna install from NPM. Anyway, Fig is amazing. Go and check it out at fig.io. Add it to your terminal. I guarantee you, you won't regret it. And one of the newer features with Fig is the ability to do scripts. And this is really cool. So here's a, a kind of a sneak peek at this editor. It's not a sneak peek, you can go and do this too. But we'll do a quick peek at the editor before we get into the AI piece. So inside of here, you can create a new script and you can call it, you know, whatever you want. And you can see in here, it gives you, basically it's gonna give you the ability to run this script with a run command. So it's gonna store all of your scripts and you can run them, which is really nice. So inside of here, they've got uh, code and inputs. So inputs are like inputs that you would expect if I wanna pass in a file name or something like that. And we also have the code. So in this case, this is uh, just kind of set up with bash to echo hello world. So if we now come in and run this with fig run hello world, it's gonna log out hello world. So that's cool. That's not the main point of this, but one other thing or two other things to mention is you can also write JavaScript and TypeScript in here to do this, which that is really cool. Uh, but let's take this a step back and let's look at like what's a cool use case of something I have experienced in the past that I didn't know exactly how to solve that this can solve for me using AI. Uh, that is, I've had examples where I've tried to run an application and something is already running at that port and then I scramble through multiple windows of VS Code and I can't find anything that's actually running at that port. I think it has something to do with me closing VS Code without stopping the running process and it keeps running or something like that, I don't know. But occasionally this happens and I figured, why don't I have Fig create or AI with Fig create a script that will do that for me. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's an AI generate button. This uses chat GPT behind the scenes. And I'll say, can you create a bash script that will kill a process running at a given port? The port should come from a user input. So you could go to ChatGPT, you could type this in, it could like give this to you. So it's gonna respond, yeah, I could do this, here's the script, blah, blah, blah. But the integration of this with the tool of Fig is like really, really cool. So you can see it's generating the script, it gives you a title, it gives you like description of what it does. And it also comes in and kind of labels in a figgy, figgy way, the input, so port number here. And then it comes down and actually does the script part. So it's gonna do an LSOF, which is like listing processes. And then it's looking for the one with that port. And then it has like some if else condition in here to say there's not something running. If there is something running, it goes ahead and kills it. So this generates the code snippet, which is great. I could manually go and copy this into a script file, add it as an alias or whatever, add it to the path or whatever you have to do to be able to run it. But Fig has this amazing UI. So this is gonna go ahead and create this. And uh, notice it already created the input. So this is where inputs inside of here, if I wanted another, I could add it. And then it references that thing in the script with the double brackets. Super, super cool stuff. So on this VS Code instance, the reason it showed that I already had something running, um, actually this may be, this may be the exact problem I was talking about because I thought this one would be free. Uh, it is, okay, so this is saying, this is actually solving the problem. So let me stop this. Let's go back and actually run our script. So we can do uh, fig run, and this is going to be kill process at port. Notice that we get like IntelliSense in here for these uh, scripts that we can run. So fig run space and then IntelliSense, really nice. So we're gonna do that. This is gonna pop up with a UI. So this is like, you can do these things in regular bash, that's fine. This is just so much nicer with a, kind of a UI inside of your terminal. And I wanna kill the thing at port 3000. And it says that it killed the process successfully, which means I can then come back and uh, do a run dev. And now this project should work. Wow, super cool. So AI is able to generate the script, but Fig as a tool is able to take that generated content, the snippet, and then actually generate like the inputs and the code in here, and then give you this UI to be able to run this. All right, so that's one specific example of how this could help. There's a few other ones that I was thinking of, like converting images, resizing images, I also do this thing when I do blog posts of, I throw all of my in images into an images or a, a folder inside of an images folder for specifically for a blog post. And then I number them one, two, three, four, five, whatever in order 
so that they're easy to reference inside of my markdown files. And I thought about taking like, if I just wrote a script that will say, hey, look at all these images and convert these into number order based on creation timestamp, just go ahead and do that for me. It'll go ahead and format. So there's infinite different use cases of this. I'm really excited to try out more of these. I'm really curious what ideas you have for ways this could help you out in different utilities or automation or whatever it is that you do. Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see maybe a follow-up video with more examples of how to use this or like creative ideas for how to use this, let me know that also in the comments below. But make sure to check out Fig. This is not sponsored. It's just one of my favorite tools. I love it. You should check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll catch you next time.